If you want your child to do book, buy this one. This one is A for Apple. You know, this one. I, don't, I just don't know. I think it's a collection of children's books. I just saw this one. So if you want your child to be brilliant, come and buy this book. If not, because this one, 150 countries. Go and learn. Hello and welcome to ABJ. You know how we do it. Charlie, thank you all for always supporting our channel and thank you for everything that you do for us. If today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. You know, I came out this evening very close to my school. It's also another big supermarket that I never knew of this, but today I decided to enter, what's the name? Ah, Supermart, but let me see. Oh, so uh, actually, the, let me see if I can read my Chinese. I'll show you around. Yes, I know I'm right. But if you can speak Chinese, don't judge my tones because I'm not dealing with tones now. And then, Chaoshe Renko. Chaoshe, supermarket, Renko, kind of entrance, so supermarket entrance. So let's get in there and see. People are saying that things are cheap in China, but I also want to let you know whether either they are cheap or they are. So let's go and let's see. We don't shop it, I don't have money, please. Yes, so yeah, I think this one, we all can relate. Hmm. These things are expensive, but let me tell you, in China, you can actually also shop online. And those ones are quite cheaper. Uh, looking at this uh, mug, it's 14.9 yuan. I remember this just this morning, I bought a mug because my mug has become older. We are in 2023, I need to change my, you get it. But now I bought the mug for 10 yuan, 10 yuan online. But here it's 14.9. Tell you that the market staff are quite expensive. So when you come to China, try shopping online. I think that will benefit you. Okay, so just as I said this morning, I bought a cup and I want to show you. So on this one, I bought it five points. If if the camera can capture, I bought it for 5.9 UN. That is online, but surprisingly, I'm here and then this one is 4.9 UN, uh, difference of 1 UN. I think this place is cheaper, yes, but uh, online is expensive. I have to go for my 1 UN, they, they cheated me, I have to go for my 1 UN. But I think it's like that, most of the things, in the shops you get them uh, at higher prices, but when they come here it's quite cheaper, and vice versa. So just look out for the ones that are cool for you and buy. This is popcorn, you know. Even this, this, this is a business idea for you. Goes back, especially if you are in Ghana, anywhere in the, in the world of Ghana. This is a business idea. It's, it's very handy. It's going for 40 revenue. But in my country, it's like almost like 80 revenue, 80 dollars. I'll convert to dollars for you. In in China, one of the things that you're going to see again is that mostly uh, chicken. Have also been packaged nicely. These are edibles, so you realize that. And these are fish. So you see this one? Already cooked fish. And then they have already been packaged and you buy them put to eat. You know? So these are some of the business ideas that you can also adapt to the country. They say a lot of people want to import things from China. But if you want to import things from China, I think basically the online market becomes the best. Uh, because if you come to the shops, things are overpriced and you can't buy them. You know, people have been asking me, I want to ship this, I want to do this. Buying like this kind of from the shops, you cannot pay. And then the brands are quality, actually, I can testify because I've bought a couple of them. Now, yes, this is this is an international brand of art. So I wanted you to also know the price. But I, this is even the smallest package. I don't know. You can compare to the price in your country, but it's like 23 yuan, 49 yuan, and then have the 15 yuan. So whichever one that you think is cheaper than oatmeal. For oatmeal in China, you get a lot of them. Yes. So many of them. And I, I think that the, the, the normal one that I, I, I actually eat is this one. Yeah. 
I, I normally like to eat this one Australia. I don't even know, but for me, yeah, everything goes, you know. But I think for now, this is what I like to eat. Actually, uh, it's Chinese New Year, and this year is the year of rabbits. So you know there are a lot of uh, Chinese items here that depict the rabbits, and I will make a video on that specific day to tell you the exact meaning of the zodiac sign and what it depicts in 2023. So, but these are things that you realize that in some of my videos you see a lot of them uh, showing that yes, we are in the year of rabbits, and so you need to be ready for it. So the shop is so big, actually, I even forgot that there is a session. I just came out walking past by and I realized that there are some nice people. Next time, the, my ladies, you know, I'm going to show you some real Brazilian hair, Peruvian hair, Chinese hair, Ghanaian hair, all the hairs, my ladies, I'll bring them here, okay? So if today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. 2023, let's do it. It is bye for now. See you. I love you all.